Hi guys, it's Lindsay, and today I'm going to be doing a casual little chit chat, get ready with me for one of my most requested makeup looks ever, and one that I wear all the time, and that is just my go-to kind of like wearable dead makeup look, as I like to describe it. Honestly, I should like copyright that term, because that's just like, it describes my aesthetic so much. If you're not familiar, I have a ton of photos on my Instagram and other videos. It's basically just kind of like a very smoked out red and orange smoky eye, and I'm going to be using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette because it's all reds and oranges, and this palette is like my child. I love it so much. This is also the first Get Ready With Me I'm filming in my new room, so I kind of have a different setup as far as like stuff just sort of like strewn around me, but it should work, so you know, just stay tuned. We'll see. I'm also kind of like dressed up right now, if you can tell, this is like metallic, because I'm going to a house show after this, which is basically like an in-house concert, like someone's just like hosting some bands at their house, which sounds interesting, so I was like, sure, I'll go. So the first thing I'm gonna put on my face is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. I really like pairing this with um, very glowy skin because in general I just have very dry skin and so if you pair like kind of like a dead makeup look with really glowy skin you won't actually look dead which is why it's called wearable dead because like as much as I want to look dead I also want to look like alive you know if you saw my Halloween makeup look that I posted on Instagram that I was going for like the full dead look and I used the super bright pink called Love Letter in here for that and I just like smoked it out like all the way down here. It was so much fun. I felt just like in my element. <laughs> um, next I'm just applying foundation and I'm really into the NAR Sheer Glow so that's what I'm going to be using. So aside from that like house show I'm going to tonight, other things going on in my life. I recently, if you saw from like my snapchats and I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I posted an Instagram, I definitely tweeted a little photo set. Um, I worked on a film set either last weekend or the weekend before. And I did costumes for it, and it was for one of my friends who's also a YouTuber, Nolan Kresnak. I'll link his channel below because he's super talented, um, and he has a really cool Instagram. But he is a film student, and my I go to Chapman. It's like a film school, so like pretty much everyone I know is like making films all the time. I've never worked on a film set at all. My major's graphic design, so like it was just like I was kind of out of my element, but like I love clothes, so it was so much fun to dress up all the extras because it was just like it so fit my aesthetic. So like the main characters and everyone like all the girls borrowed my clothes like one of them literally wore this dress and it was just like so fun to like watch it come alive and also just like watch a ton of people wearing my clothes and doing what I told them to do so that was cool um next up I would prime my eyelids but honestly it's in my desk and like half the time I don't really do it anyway because I forget so we're just gonna not but that's okay um I'm just gonna go right ahead and do my eyebrows really quick that way things will just move along a lot smoother and like look less um, scary. And I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, which is my favorite because because it's my favorite. <laughs> no real reason there. I do my eyebrows the same in every single possible get ready with me, so I'm very sorry if you've already seen this. It's not that exciting. I know a lot of people have been asking me questions about my major lately, and I really want to do a Q&A like all around it because it has gotten more intense and like way more real lately, as in like my projects are like on the computer and I like know how to do stuff now. Um, but I want to do that video with my friend Kira, who's in my major with me, because I feel like that'll be a lot better. So stay tuned for that. She's super excited about it. Also, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you would have seen that I broke my phone at Beach Goth, which was like the most tragic thing ever. But basically, I lost like all of my photos all of my lists and I don't have my list of future videos I want to film and like I've had that going for such a long time so if you have any requests I swear anything at all please let me know what you want to see because like I still have like a ton of ideas I'm not gonna like run out but it's just sad because I had things planned that I like can't remember now so let me know my lamp is kind of putting like a rose gold glow on my face but like honestly it's kind of working speaking of which a ton of people have been asking me where my lamps are from they're just from Target but the bulbs inside are Philips Hue lights because you can change them with an app and it's like the best thing ever. I seriously love them. There's just something about being like in a room with colored lights that just like makes me feel more creative and like you can kind of make them align with your mood more because I feel like creative like artistic people like colors really bring like moods and feelings so if you like really want a certain mood in your room you can totally achieve it or like if you really need to stay up like late and like stay awake you can make it really bright and really blue and stuff it's just like so nice. The train is passing by again. It has been 15 minutes since the train already passed by and I had to stop filming. <laughs> next I'm just gonna set my eyebrows with the clear brow gel from Anastasia because that's just like the necessary next step. Um, 
now that the camera is way closer to me, I am going to first highlight my brow bone with a color from the Tarlet palette. You can also use the Modern Renaissance one, just you want like a light shade, but I'm gonna do one that's matte. So I'm using Free Spirit and Super Moon. Um, Super Mom, it's not Super Moon. Super Moon is a better idea. This will just make blending easier in the future. So that's, that's always the goal. Now that that's done, for the eyes, I'm pretty much going to use two colors, and those colors are Burnt Orange and Red Ochre. So Red Ochre is going all over the lid, and then I'm going to put Burnt Orange in the crease. So starting out with Burnt Orange, I'm going to take that on a tiny brush. These colors are super pigmented, so like, don't be surprised if a lot goes on at once. Oh, also the train's going by again, that's just superb. You can blend that out as much as you'd like. Um, also, I'm going to do concealer under my eyes, so like that'll completely change if anything falls under, so like don't be concerned about that, because I know it looks like kind of spooky. So what I'm gonna do next is basically take the color Red Ochre, and I'm just going to pack that onto the lid with the small end of the brush that came with this palette. Actually, this is a great brush, and I'm just gonna tap off the excess, and then just pack that all over the lid. You can use the end of the brush to kind of like feather it out a little bit, but I'm also going to take the fluffy side and blend that very uh, <laughs> messy transition. First I just blend it like this, and then I'll probably take the smaller brush with burnt orange on it and blend that into it a little bit and just kind of perfect it so it looks very smooth. This takes some time and it really helps if you do have a closer mirror versus what I'm doing right now. Um, but you can get this to look perfect if you would like, um, or you can leave it kind of messy, but these colors blend really nice to each other if you try. Um, I'm also gonna sharpen up that brow bone highlight um, just with a smaller brush because I feel like that really helps. Also, if you can tell, I really got a bunch of red eyeshadow on my forehead. I was not kidding when I said these colors are like crazy pigmented. I was also not kidding when I said that the train passes by every 15 minutes. Now that that's done, I'm gonna do concealer and I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light. And I'm gonna put that all right here and right here and on that and also to fix whatever I did over there. It's kind of fun doing your makeup in the viewfinder because you can't really tell what you're doing. Kind of adds to the charm. Oh shoot, I definitely used the wrong color. So the one I use all over my face is usually neutral light, but the one I use under my eyes is neutral warm because it's lighter. When you have a heavy makeup look like this, not even heavy, but when you have one that's just kind of like darker or a little more on the dead side, you want a brighter concealer. And then I'm just going to take a flat kabuki brush and blend that out. I honestly don't think that there is any way to blend concealer that doesn't just look absolutely ridiculous because I feel like you just have to kind of like contort your face in weird ways to like get it to look the way you want. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that little brush that we used the red color on and I'm just going to put that um, underneath my eyes but use the color burnt orange but it still has a lot of that red on it and I'm just going to put that underneath my eyes. You can make this as light or as dark as you want and that will just kind of uh, determine how much darker this look looks, but I think it balances out like the top and bottom a lot, so it's an important step. So believe it or not, that is actually the entire eye makeup look. It is seriously so easy. I've been telling you guys it takes like two seconds, so that's why I do it all the time. But to finish off the rest of the uh, face makeup and whatnot, because that is important, first thing I'm gonna do is just set my under eyes with the MAC light plus powder i really am not picky when it comes to face powder but this is one that i have been using lately so that's what i'm going to be using next i'm going to use my favorite bronzer which i'm actually running out of a little bit and this is Too faced milk chocolate soleil if you watch any of my get ready with me's i'd like to apologize for the fact i don't switch out my makeup products but this is just realistically what i use okay and this smells really good if you're wondering why i just why i just smelled it viewfinder bronzing a little bit scary so yeah i usually like to do like an overall bronze because like i'm pretty pale and i feel like my foundation never like totally matches me so this is just what we have going on if i want to do a blush with this i will usually use one that's in kind of like the peachy family and i really like this one from mac which is margin it's just like a really nice golden peach um i just it's so pretty I, i've always really liked it so i'm just gonna add that on top 
um, if we're just feeling extra glowy. And I'm also gonna put a um, highlighter on top of this because you just know that that was, that was coming up. <laughs> um, and I'm actually going to be using Becca Moonstone, which is a new thing for me because I'm a huge fan of Becca Opal, but lately I've been into Becca Moonstone, which I recently bought when I was going through a stressful time. Absolutely don't regret it. Makes me happy every time I open it, so there's that. It's also just so beautiful and new. Just look at it. It's so beautiful and new. It's crazy. Um, so I'm just gonna apply that um, to the tops of my cheekbones and you can just appreciate- Oh my goodness gracious. Do you see this? That's crazy. I definitely should have looked in a mirror. <laughs> that is so much, but it's fine. You know, if there's if there's problems to have, having too much highlighter on your face is like way down here. You know, there's like so many worse problems to have in this world. It's fine. Personally, highlighting my nose is like my favorite part of my makeup. Just like a little like boop. You can also definitely like blend that in more if you don't want it to be as arrested as mine is right now, but you know. The choice is yours. To finish off this look, I am going to put on a lip color. That's totally optional. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do any of this. This is all optional. Um, but I'm going to be using um, NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi, which is another one of my favorite kind of peachier shades because when you go for a peachy-ish or like warm eye, I like to keep everything else also warm. So I just let that color dry because it is a liquid lipstick. So now you can see kind of the total completed look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will make more Get Ready With Me's in the future because filming in this new space wasn't as stressful as I thought it could have been. Just a little bit, I'll figure it out. But yeah, let me know what kind of looks you want to see in the future. I definitely can do more with the Modern Renaissance palette because I love it so much. And there's a really nice one that I go for a lot that has to do with all of the oranges in here, especially this one on the end, which is like super bright. And I want to figure out a wearable way to use Love Letter, that super like magenta one. So stay tuned for that. I can definitely make more videos using this because I use it all the time. It's been like my go-to favorite for like a while now. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all with a new video very soon. Bye guys.